In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to quickly and safely recover deleted files like pictures, messages, contacts, video, audio, documents, WhatsApp messages and other deleted files from your Android device. This is going to be a fairly simple process plus this tutorial is designed in a way such that it's going to be easy to follow. This was also a requested video by a fellow subscriber. So let's get started. Oh, but before we get started, let's hop over to my phone and delete a couple of photos so that we can recover them later on in the tutorial. Not only photos, you can recover any deleted file, but for representation purpose, I'm going to be deleting these photos that I took two weeks back. So I got a photo of my friends at the mall and a quite memorable picture of my buddy fixing some leaking pipes and doing some plumbing work at his place. Now I don't have any copies of these pictures, they were never backed up. So I'm going to be deleting these four pictures from here pretty quick and boom, they're completely gone. It's actually very easy to accidentally and permanently delete files on smartphones, but recovery isn't as simple as there are no recycle bins on smartphones. So let me make it simple for you. Let me show you how to safely and quickly recover any deleted file from your Android smartphone by using the Wondershare Dr. Phone data recovery software. Now folks, there are many data recovery softwares out there. So why Dr. Phone you might ask? Well, that's mainly because Dr. Phone holds the record of the highest data recovery rates in the industry. It's as good as a data recovery software can get. Plus, it's very easy to use. So first of all, you'll have to download and install the Dr. Phone data recovery software on your Windows or Mac based computer. For that, click the first link under the thumbs up button that will take you to the official website. Once there, click on the try it for free button and download the software for free. But if you want to quickly recover a super important file, then it's highly recommended to buy or license the software beforehand. But anyways, trying out this software is absolutely free. It can recover data from working as well as from broken or damaged smartphones. We're going to talk about that later in the video. Once Dr. Phone is downloaded and installed on your computer, simply open it up and straight up all the instructions will pop up on the screen in a very simple language, making my job easier. Like I said, it makes the complex process of data recovery very simple and it can be used by anyone. So from now on, we're going to be following the on-screen instructions. So first of all, it'll ask you to connect your phone with the computer via the USB cable and also to turn on the USB debugging option on your phone. For that, head over to the Android settings on your device, then scroll all the way down to the about devices section. Open that. Then scroll down and tap on the build number section 5 to 7 times in rapid succession. Then head back and you'll see a new option above the about devices tab called as the developers option. Open that. Then make sure to turn on the developers option first. Then scroll down until you see the USB debugging or Android debugging option. Both of them are same. Then simply turn that on. Once the USB debugging option is turned on, connect your device to your computer via the USB cable. At this point, Dr. Phone will automatically recognize your device and will start connecting with your smartphone. From now on, if you see any permission window popping up on your Android screen, simply hit on the yes button and allow the permissions because that's going to help the software to secure a connection with your smartphone for data recovery. Once the connection part is done, you can select the type of files that you want to recover. That will make the recovery process much faster, but it's better to have all selected, that is leave it as it is and hit on the next button. Next up, you're going to get two scanning options. You can either go with the standard mode or you can go with the advanced mode. Now for standard mode is what we're going to be using for today's video because it's much faster. But if your file was not recovered by the standard mode, then go with the advanced mode. Now folks, I have been using Dr. Phone since two years and I never had the need to use the advanced mode. All I ever used was the standard mode. So leave it as it is and hit on the next button. Now Dr. Phone will start to connect and analyze your device which can take a couple of minutes and during the entire process if you get any permission window popping up on your Android screen simply hit on the yes button and allow the permissions. And if your device is rooted the software will ask for root permissions simply allow the permissions as the recovery process will be much faster if your device is rooted. However if your device is not rooted not a problem simply ignore what I said and continue with the rest of the process. Once the connection is secured, Dr. Phone will start scanning for deleted files which can take between 2 minutes to an hour or 2 depending on the files that you're looking for and the storage capacity of your device. 
Now, based on my experience and observations, recovering things like deleted contacts, text messages, call history and deleted WhatsApp messages can take around 15 to 20 minutes. Whereas scanning and recovering larger sized files like deleted pictures, audio, video, WhatsApp attachments and larger sized documents can take more than 20 minutes and all the way up to an hour or two. So have some patience and it's highly recommended not to use your phone or take calls during the scanning and recovery process. Probably the best thing about Dr. Phone is as the scan is going on, you can start looking through the available results for the specific deleted file that you want to recover. And as the scan goes on, more and more deleted files will start appearing in the list. So absolutely no time is wasted. As the scan is going on, you can start looking for the files that you want to recover. And if you're able to find the deleted file that you want to recover before the scan is completed, then you can either stop or pause the scan at any moment and recover the file right away. This detailed preview system, which is one of the best and most unique feature of Dr. Phone, saves a lot of time. As of now, we are only two minutes into the scan. And as you can see, most of the stuff like deleted contacts, call logs and messages, and also a bunch of deleted WhatsApp conversation is also available for recovery. Larger sized files like documents, video, audio, etc. are gonna appear soon. So I'm just gonna lay back and let the scan complete. All right, so the scan is done and it took around 15 to 20 minutes, which was very fast considering that it was a full scan and my phone had a lot of deleted data. So let's go ahead and check out what we have here. All right, so we have around 600 deleted contacts recovered. We have tons and tons of deleted messages recovered. We have entire SMS conversations recovered. You see, the thing that most people want to recover are important contacts, photos, messages, and documents. And those are the things that we have recovered over here. So moving on, we also have entire WhatsApp conversations with attachments recovered, which is a great thing, but that's not what we're looking for. We are looking for the deleted pictures that we want to recover. Now pictures are found in the gallery section. So hopping over to the gallery tab and I guess there is, we have one, two, three, four, and yup. So we got all four of the photos that we deleted earlier ready for recovery, which means this process was a huge success. All right, so let's go ahead and recover these photos so that I can have them back on my phone. Now the actual recovery process is very simple. Once the software is licensed, select the data or the file that you want to recover. You can recover single file, multiple files or all the files at the same time. So we are going to quickly select these four photos and then click on the recovery button right there. Next up, select the location where you want to save these recovered files. I'm going to select the desktop and then hit on OK. That's it. It's done. As simple as that. So let's head over to the desktop and check out the recovered files. So we got all the four photos recovered here, but I'm especially looking for things like loss of quality. And as you can see, there's no loss in quality and all the deleted files were recovered in one piece, which is a great thing. Now folks, you will have to remember one basic principle, which is if a file was deleted long time back, that is say a couple of weeks or months back, and if the file was replaced by another file, then the chances of recovering that file is very, very low. So it's a smart move if you run the Dr. Phone recovery software and get the deleted file back as soon as possible, because as the time passes, new files are created and these deleted files can get replaced by these new files. I mean, at least that's the basic principle behind every data recovery system out there. Now talking about Dr. Phone, you also get a couple of additional features that might be helpful for some of you. Like you can recover files from broken, damaged, or phones that are not turning on. Also, for example, say if you're logged out of your device, that is you forgot your password or got it wrong multiple times, then no worries because Dr. Phone can also recover data from logged phones as well. Although as of today, these features are still under testing, but it's well worth mentioning. Now I've been using Dr. Phone to recover deleted data since two years now, and I'm very happy with the results. I was able to recover multiple important data and files in these two years. I mean, for the price of just $50 for lifetime, it's a great deal. Plus it's also going to be the best $50 that you're going to ever spend because you never know when this software can come in handy. So it's definitely a must have software and it's recommended by the Android guy. Plus it has a straight up 30 days money back guarantee for those of you who didn't enjoy the level of satisfaction that 50 million users, including me did. So yup, 
that's pretty much it. If you got to learn something new today, then do give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to continue learning new things, then do subscribe to The Android Guy if you haven't already. So I'm your host HK from The Android Guy, signing out. And I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.